welcome back to my bedroom floor. I really loved the way I filmed my last video because we were just kind of chilling, hanging out. And a lot of you guys asked me for my lip routine. And it's funny because I actually am super weird about my lips. I kind of hate them and I kind of love them at the same time. I know that I can really make them look good, but like on their own, like when I don't have my makeup on and like my lips aren't done, I just feel so naked. So I wanted to kind of make this video for girls who kind of are kind of in that in-between stage of having full lips and small lips. I am not on the small side, but I'm not on the super full side either. So I love to make my lips more enhanced, more bigger or more big. Bigger. And I wanted to give you guys my full in-depth routine, but I didn't want to make it like a super ridiculously long studio video. So I figured why not bring you guys to my bedroom floor, show you guys everything I use, and just kind of chit chat with you guys. So what do you think about that? <laughs> I don't even have a bra on, I'm just chilling, so. Before getting started, please do not forget to subscribe down below. It means the world to me. We are going 63,000 strong. I can't believe I'm saying that, it's crazy, but I love all of you guys. You guys are my internet sisters, best friends, and everything a girl could ever ask for. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I always tell you guys when I'm going to upload. I always ask you what you guys want to see from me because I love your guys' input. It means so much to me, and you guys have the best ideas. Like, I'm very lucky to have a really intuitive group of girls. I'll put it somewhere here on the screen and do not forget to comment down below. I always answer to all of your guys' comments. Every single comment I try to get back to. I love talking to you guys down below, so make sure you do that. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Sometimes I forget to say that in videos, but not today. Let's just jump right into the video. Okay, so the first thing that I do to make my lips luscious and beautiful and perfect and whatever you want to call it is I love to use an exfoliation of some sort, a lip scrub. You guys do not have to go out and buy a lip scrub like I did. I'm just bougie like that. But what you can do is just make kind of concoction at home of like olive oil and sugar and just kind of and put it on your lips. It's great, it's amazing, it's literally the best thing ever. But I went out and got a lip scrub, and this one is from Tarte, it is the Pout Prep. It kind of has like a minty taste to it. And what I love about lip scrubs is they're really great when you have like that really chapped lip thing going on, I'm just not into it. And it brings like that color back to my lips, so that's what I do. So we're gonna just start off with that, and I like to, you know, take my nail and stick it in because us girls with long nails, we struggle. And I just apply it straight to my lips. You guys see that? And I have makeup on my lips, so it kind of gets that off too. And I scrub for like a good 30 seconds just to get that like lip blood flowing. And I don't know, it's just really great for your lips. So. If you guys don't have an exfoliation at home, make sure that you make one. And if you do not have sugar and oil at home either, the next thing you guys could do is just use your toothbrush. You guys can do this right when you brush your teeth in the morning, just kind of, I just use this toothbrush for that and, oh, it feels so good. <laughs> that was gross, I shouldn't have done that. Okay, so then I just take a paper towel and wipe off the scrub and of course my makeup comes off with it because you know where's my beauty blender hold on i have to grab it what's your guys's like favorite thing to pamper yourself and do let me know down below um my favorite pampering would probably have to be like lotion and stuff like that like i love doing scrubs and lotion and cream and all that on my body okay next let's not get sidetracked i love to use this Too faced lip injections if you guys have smaller lips or lips that you're just like not too happy with and you want them to look plumper and bigger and just like a lot more like just there i use the Too faced lip injections it's really good um it hurts a little bit it stings you know but it actually kind of feels kind of good after a while, oh, I didn't fix that. Okay, after a while, it does kind of feel good. Honestly, I would normally do the lip injection thing before my makeup routine to let it kind of sit and hang out. So I'm just going to kind of dab it because we're on to the next step. Sometimes if my lips are on the extra dry side, sometimes that lip injection doesn't really moisturize 100%. So I go in with just a glow oil and I'll just kind of apply it straight to the lips. I use the Makai Acai and Prickly Pear Goji Berry one from Youth of the People. Guys, this is so simple and easy. Like, you guys are gonna see, like my routine is nothing 
that you guys can't copy and follow. Now, oh God, what is up with my hair today? Don't mind my whole, okay? Like, this is an average Tuesday for me. Like, I'm just in a t-shirt, my hair is a mess, but we're still here, we're still filming, we're still ready to conquer the day. Next step is an important step for us girls who want that extra, Mmm, pout, gorgeousness. You need to contour your lips. I use a cream contour in the darkest shade and I just kind of completely like go like this with my lips. You see that? Guys, this is so simple and easy. Like, you're gonna notice your lips are just going to just be so gorgeous. And honestly, I used to like go really crazy with the liners and like lipsticks and all that. And I found that when I just kind of like take my time with them and I don't rush them, they look a lot better. I'm gonna tell you guys my biggest issue with my lips. This isn't like me like saying that I'm like not confident, I'm just telling you what I like to manipulate. So the line of your lips on the outside is called your vermilion border. My vermilion border kind of slopes really far down and I want my lip to kind of go more across than to go like down. So I like to just manipulate that with the um, contouring just to kind of make my vermilion border a little bit more out there and pronounced. And so that it's just not so slopey because then it makes my lips look small even though they're not. What is your guys' issue with your lips if you have any? If you don't, great. Lucky you. Next up, lip liner. I use MAC Cork. I also like MAC Chestnut. It's also a really good one, but it's a little bit too dark for an everyday look. So I use MAC Cork for like all my nude natural looks. And I love when the pencil's like a little bit like used. I don't like it when it's fully sharp because when it's fully sharp, it's like too harsh. So I like when it's kind of like this. Like, let me try to focus. Okay, there we go. I like when it's like that. Okay. So then I just go in, sorry, I'm looking over here, but I go in and just line it and do it very soft. I used to do it with a very heavy hand. I was looking real 90s, guys, real 90s. And I love to manipulate my Vermilion border. So like on this side, I kind of overlined a little bit. Today is a beautiful day outside. I'm probably going to sit outside after this. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know I love to brainstorm and just sit outside. And another trick that I have for you guys when it comes to lip liner is right here where like you have like that line where people like take like that string when they get lip injections is where you're gonna take your pencil and kind of like this. Oh. <laughs> and make a mess while you're at it. And you can do this around your lip like this to make it bigger, but I mostly do it down the center because it just creates like that effortless pout. We have three glosses. I wanted to mention all three in this video just so you guys can go out and buy them because I swear by these lip glosses. We have two dose of colors lip glosses and one Fenty Beauty. So the Fenty Beauty one is in Fenty Glow. It's like that original one that they had. It's not the diamond one. It's not the pink one. It's the original peachy color. This is the most natural one that they have that I can remember. And then I have the dose of colors, the most gloss. This has pink reflex in it and it's more of a clear gloss, but it, it really does have like that glisten and that starry like look to it. And then this dose of colors lip gloss is in over the top and it's gold. So if you're doing like a really bronzy smoky eye, but you want like a nude gloss, that's also kind of complements like the bronzy eye. This is the best one. So we are going to mix two today. I am going to mix the Fenty Beauty one and the over the top gold one, just because I wear the most every single day that I need to switch it up. I'm going to take this gloss, I'm gonna put it directly on my lips and over the lip liner. There's not gonna be any lipstick. That was the mistake I used to make in the past was wearing lipstick. It just made my look look too, like I'm trying too hard for an everyday look and it doesn't bring like that natural color of my lips. I love that my natural pink of my lips can just shine through a gloss and that is why we prepped them with the exfoliation and the toothbrush because they bring like that pink color back to your lips. We're gonna go straight in with the Dose of Colors gloss first. And what this is gonna do is also going to blend in the lines that you drew with your lip liner 
And so I'm just going to put this directly on and I'm going to like go like this all the way down. I always notice some people like to put gloss just like on their actual lip and not on the lip line, but I found when I do it on the lip line, it blends it better. So, little tip. Same for up here. Okay. You guys see that? Ooh, there's a plane going by. Then we're gonna go on the Fenty Beauty one. I like to add this one kind of like a little bit because it's very like thick. Like you honestly just need this gloss, just this one if you're gonna do it, but because I'm extra, you know. And there is my lips. This is what you guys have been asking for. It's simple, it's easy. It's a little bit extra steps than the average, but it's super easy. You guys can achieve this look all on your own. Honestly, I don't even think I do my lips that great. That's just me personally. Like I'm, I definitely do them better than I used to, but they could use some work still. I hope that I see you guys in my next video. I'm actually filming a mukbang tomorrow and a Q and A. So if you guys want to participate in the Q and A, go to my Instagram. I have the um, question thingy up on my story, but you guys could ask me whatever you want, juicy or not, I don't care. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Happy Tuesday. Have a beautiful and wonderful day wherever you are. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.